Hi YouTube. Well today we're inside and we're going to create a 5 volt USB powered LED task work trim light uh, whatever you want to call it. You can attach it magnetically. Uh, you can use clips. Uh, paracord. We're going to make it so you can use a variety of different things to attach it, move it, hang it, stand it up, whatever. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to need a work surface. So I got a little piece of plywood. A pair of clippers, some solder, some soldering paste, a soldering iron, heated up of course, a uh, lighter, some shrink wrap tubing right there so that when we make our connections we can shrink wrap over them and make sure they're secure and we won't have any short circuits. So let's get started. This is the piece of LED st strip that I'm using. I just salvaged this. If you need a link to buy some uh, here's a link down below where you can get some 5 volt LED light strips. Down at this end we're going to desolder this connection and solder a USB cable to it. So you'll need an, a, an old USB cable. We'll be using this end. We'll be removing this end and stripping back the wires so we can solder them to here. Alright, so we've got our wires stripped back. We have a red and a black. I'm assuming the red is positive, the black is negative. Okay, uh, here's a little something about USB cables everybody already probably knows except me. But, USB cables have a smooth side like this and then it has a side with a notch in it like this. Now we've all seen a USB cable. We've all looked at them a million times. But we haven't really stopped to think about one side, the other side. And what does that mean? Well, for our purposes, what it means is this. When we look at the top side, the smooth side, then the plus side or the power side the power wire is over here the negative or ground wire is up over there and if we take a ohm meter or a multimeter and check right there with the probe and touch the other end of the wire we'll get continuity on the red wire on our cable if we touch there and touch the black wire, we'll get continuity on the black wire. So now we know which wire to connect to which terminal on the LED strip. All right, so there we've got our wire stripped and soldered in place. I tested it in a USB port and it lights up. This is a piece of shrink wrap tubing I'm going to slide down over here for a little uh, stress relief on the connection because these are very thin wires so I think this will help mitigate any kind of strain that flexing back and forth will put on it this will help relieve that. I cut a little piece of this foam rubber insulating material and I slid it and put a little bit on top and a little bit underneath and then I'm going to run the shrink wrap over and the shrink wrap will shrink down over that. Hopefully that'll give this a little bit of strain relief on that connection. Alright so there's my little strain relief attempt. Uh, hopefully that'll make this connection a little stronger than it would be without that. So here's my little power supply. I aimed the USB lights away from us uh, so we don't wind up getting blinded by them because it's they're very bright. Um, I'll turn off the main light in here. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. 
it's pretty bright. If I turn it up, we're going to see they're very bright. Okay, now that I've got this string of lights, so to speak, how, how am I going to use it? Well, my thought is I'm going to mount it on this piece of plexiglass. And I'm going to use the 3M VHB tape so that hopefully these lights will stay put. So there is the VHB tape cut in a one continuous strip, uh, the same width as the LED lights. And then I just press the LED light onto the VHB strip and that is not going anywhere. That's <laughs> it's not going to come off of there. So now with my little subassembly light panel built, I'm going to take it to the next level. So the diffuser I've got seems to focus about two and three eighths inches. That seems to be about where the focus is the best. So that's where I scored my uh, measured out and scored my line and now I'll break this material off and then cut it to form four sides of a box. Okay, so there are the four pieces that can uh, comprise the box. Of course the um, LED will be sitting at the top and the diffuser will be, you know, sitting at the bottom at the other end. So we'll put the box together and then kind of start fitting things closer together, fitting them within the box. So there we've uh, hot glued the box together. This um, is the LED with the, uh, obviously with the bulbs face down. Okay, well, bear in mind, uh, this is a working prototype. Uh, there's the, the box, diffuser, and the uh, strong little magnets on it, USB cord. And uh, we'll plug it in. We will, we will plug it in here. There we go, so you can see the light that's just coming out of the top. Now I'll turn the lights out in here. If I lift this up to about shoulder height, you can see what kind of a illumination we get. We'll take it out in the van and see what it does out there. So with the exception of a little bit of ambient light coming through the kitchen window, the van is almost pitch black inside. You really can't see much of anything. So let's turn on let's turn on our little light and see what we get. So there you go. Now me sitting over here at the uh, jump seat, the seat behind the two front seats. Uh, it's a nice ambient light. Still dark back there, but. Plenty of light here at the counter to, you know, make a salad or whatever. I kind of like the glow from it a little bit. So it fits nice under there. Um, that'll probably be where I keep it since it's just kind of that's a good spot for it. I can tuck the cord into that little uh, cupboard beside it and keep it kind of neat. So I think that's it for the video. It's kind of found its home, and now it's just got to get to work and help me out lighting the van. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think it would help somebody else, share it with them. And if you'd like to get more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, comment as you see fit. Till the next video, see you later.